Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, a session whereby we are going to interact and also learn together. We are going to have our mathematics form 1, lesson uh, 13, whereby your tutor will be me, Mr. Jaron, and we are going to handle the topic on factors. Uh, before that, we should have the following uh, lesson goals, whereby by the end of the lesson, you should know all the divisibility tests for given uh, numbers. Um, we are going to have the first divisibility test on uh, the test of 6. So a number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. So now, you, uh, for you to know if a number is divisible by 6, you should first ask yourself, is the number given is divisible by 2 or 3? And remember, here we are using the words and, we are not using both or. So the number should be divisible by both 2 and 3. So if you might uh, find a number that is divisible by 2 and not divisible by 3. So you rule out. So the number it will mean that it is not divisible by 6. For example, um, so now it will now require you to know when is a number div divisible by 2. So uh, we can say a number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is an even number. And a number, so we can ask ourselves when is a number divisible by 3. A number is divisible by 3 if sum of its digits is divisible by 3. So that is when you shall know whether when a number is divisible by 6. So we can have the following number, 612. So let us ask ourselves, is 612 divisible by 2? The answer is yes because the last digit is an even number. So now it's upon us, now we ask ourselves, is 612 divisible by 3? Let us now get the sum of the digits. Remember, we are going to get 6 plus 1, which is 7. 7 plus uh, 2, which is 9. Is 9 divisible by 3? Yes. So that is to mean, because 612 is divisible by both 2 and 3, it means that 612 is divisible by 6. Let us get another number like 102. Is it divisible by 2? Yes, because the last digit is an even number. Let us try to look whether it is divisible by 3. Let us get 1 plus 0, which is 1, plus 2 to get 3. Is 3 divisible by 3? Yes, we get 1. So that is to mean 102 is divisible by 3. Uh, sorry, by 6. Because it is divisible by both 2 and 3. We can have the divisibility test of 8. And here we can say a number is divisible by 8 if the number formed by the last 3 digits is divisible by 8. For example, we, are, we can have a very long number, like what we are seeing on the screen, that is... 3022714 but we are not interested with the other digits the digits that here which of our great interest are the last three digits so um uh, so we are saying a number is divisible by uh, 8 if the number formed by the last three digits is divisible by 8 so what you normally ask yourself is you get the last three digits then you ask yourself is it divisible by uh, 8 for example, our last three digits here, uh, we are having something like uh, 140, 144. Is 144 divisible by uh, by 8? Let us uh, divide. How many times does 8 go to 14? It is only one time. 14 minus 8, you are getting 6. Is 64 divided by 8? Yes. So here you are getting uh, 16. So 144 is divisible by 144 is, is divisible by uh, 8. So that is to mean the number 3022744 is divisible by 8. We can look at uh, the divisibility test of 10. Uh, then we ask yourself, when is a number divisible by 10? A number is divisible by 10 if the last digit is 0. You can have uh, all the integers, all, all the counting um, numbers given, but what you are interested in is here is the last digit. So you ask yourself, is the last digit 0? So if the last digit is 0, you say that automatically the number is divisible by 10. For example, let us look at our number here, which is 3470400000. Uh, you ask yourself, is it divisible by 10? You say yes, because the last digit is 0. Uh, actually, on our previous lessons, we have uh, dealt something on the divisibility test of uh, from 0 to around 5. Uh, sorry, that is 1 to 5. So if you have not gotten the chance to look at the lessons, I would appeal that uh, you look at them because actually they will help you and guide you to know the divisibility of, of all the counting numbers. Uh, we can have the divisibility test of 11, uh, then you ask yourself, when is a number divisible by 11? Then you say, 
A number is divisible by 11 if the sum of its digits in the first, third, and the fifth positions and the sum of its digits in the second, fourth, and sixth digits are equal or differ by a multiple of 11. Here, as simply here, what we are saying is the alternate digits. Either the, uh, their sum is um, 0 or the uh, multiple of 11. For example, let us have the number 10,813. Here, you are going to look at the number that is uh, in our first, third, and the fifth position. That is 1, 8, and 3. So, you are getting 1 plus 8 plus 3 to get 12. And the number that is in the second and uh, fourth position is 0 and 1. We add the 2 to get 1. Then you get 12, you subtract 1 to get 11. Then is 11 divisible by 11? Yes. So uh, that is to mean our number 10,813 is divisible by uh, 11. Um, divisibility test of 11, you can... Um, we can uh, we can test whether the following numbers are divisible by 11 that is uh, 2 5 9 6 4 3 9 7 and also 5 9 6 8 1 5 1 you just get the alternate numbers so this is uh, the activity whereby you are required to test whether these numbers are um divisible by 11 having done and said that you can uh, have uh, to get more of this lesson you can refer to klb Secondary Mathematics Students Book 1, which is the fourth edition, and it has been certified by the Kenya Literature Bureau. And to get this lesson and many more of our mathematics from one lessons, you can send us an SMS to the number, the number that is on our screen, or you subscribe to both YouTube or our Facebook page, which are both the Limu TV, or you our Twitter our page, that is the Limu TV underscore KE. Let us subscribe to all these channels and we shall enjoy more of our, our mathematics from one lessons. Thank you.